we traveled to Budapest in search of the Dervish of the Rose, an Ottoman Bektashi Dervish who is known for introducing and popularizing roses in Budapest during its Ottoman occupation. Gul Baba arrived in Hungary in 1541 in the company of Suleiman I the Magnificent. He died in Buda during the Turkish siege of the city. His coffin, as the legend has it, was carried by Suleiman I himself. He was declared patron saint of the city and was buried in an octagonal tomb. In folklore, dervishes are often credited with the ability to perform miracles and described with supernatural powers. Their focus is on the universal values of love and service, deserting the illusions of ego to reach God. It was those stories and myths about Guru Baba and the dervishes which made us so intrigued that we traveled all the way to Budapest. The talk of miracles, superpowers, mystics, and God. Well, God, not so much. It was mostly the superpowers. Our long search continued. Walking through the dilapidated buildings of Budapest, a city with a history like no other. We were so entranced that we kept getting lost. But we had set it in our minds that we would find the tomb. And so, we walked and walked trying to find the tomb of Guru Baba, but to no avail. The man was not there. Was it all a myth? We walked 25 kilometers to where his supposed grave was and only found an Airbnb in its place. Was it all a ploy? We felt cheated, lost, exhausted. But then this vagabond approached and he said to us, he really knew where the real Gul Baba was buried. After a not so serious contemplation, we agreed to follow this man. The vagabond claimed that he was buried in the countryside, and his family was tasked to preserve and protect the tomb for generations and generations. So we drove and drove and drove. The Vagabond was not so keen being documented. And when we finally reached the farm, I said to myself, could this be it? Unfortunately, it's the hope that kills you. The Vagabond had lied. He had only brought us here to sell us this Hungarian breed of a dog called Komondor. We were so enchanted by the dog that it was too late when we realized that the vagabond had commandeered our vehicle and driven off, leaving us destitute and lost in the countryside. My brother and I decided our best option was to walk back to Budapest. Yet we did not know the way. We walked and walked. A thing that can describe our ordeal quite succinctly. Calluses grew and they burst. We're lost, cold, scared, hungry. We have no idea where we're going. We're in a foreign country. But then I remember this quote by Antonio Machado. Travelers, there is no path. Paths 
are made by walking. So we walked on. We walked on. Until we saw at the edge of our eyes this old woman sitting under a tree, smoking. We kindly asked her if we could rest in her camp while we got our strength back up. She agreed. We told her our story and all our hardships, all we went through to find the tomb of Ghul Baba. And then she started maniacally laughing. She explained that she was actually an Ottoman gypsy, a remnant of the past. Her line, she claimed, went all the way back to Ghul Baba himself. She was the only one left from her tribe. She claimed to be over 200 years old and could conjure magic. He is everywhere. He is here now with us. But he also has a tomb. We took everything she said with a In grain of most salt. Unexpected place you will find his tomb. And when you find this symbol, you'll also find his tomb. She then showed my brother a mirror. For a brief moment, there, we saw the reflection of an older man with a beard. The gypsy woman claimed it was the spirit of Ghul Baba, and that she felt a strong connection between our mythical dervish and my brother. After this revelation, both the gypsy woman and my brother had the urge to smoke. The gypsy woman was kind enough to offer one of her cigars to my brother. And then, contemplation while smoking occurred. Out of nowhere, the old gypsy woman took out a tile from one of the chairs. She claimed the tile was from the tomb of Ghul Baba. We were honored and surprised, as we thought she would gift us the tile for some reason. Unfortunately, once again, we were wrong. I mean, that tile has been in her family for generations and generations. She wouldn't just give it off to two dumb tourists she met along the way. So she asked for it back and uh, we gave it to her. We thanked her deeply for her outdoor hospitality. Then, the old gypsy woman gave my brother a blessing of sorts and told us to never stop searching for Ghul Baba and also pointed to us that we were walking away from Budapest, not towards it. We thanked her greatly and went on our way.